morning. We are on day four of our rear extension in Longbridge and today we're going to be putting our um, underground brick lane up to damp course in. That's going to be our engineering bricks and our concrete blocks. So we will flip you around and you can uh, watch this brick. First course down now, first course is always the most important because it will dictate how plumb your wall is and how square your, your wall, or I should say your building, is going to be. So a lot of builders can sometimes rush their first course, you don't want to be doing that. It's uh, exciting to, to start bricklaying and to get the building up and out of the ground but you've got to make sure your first course is perfect. So I like to take my time, I like to mark it, I like to double check all of my uh, marks. I then get my bricks down, I then double check all my uh, measurements again. I then get my dead men down, which are bricks which we put down to use as a level for getting from one end to the other. I'm a bit old school like that, I should probably use a laser level, but, uh, but I like using the dead men. So, um, We've now got the first course in and we're going to use that as our as our guide or our gauge to go up and uh, get our plumb building. So I'll flip you around and you can watch us put the rest of the third uh, way. six and we are back in Longbridge on our uh, side extension it is raining again so that is day number five it's rained in a row it's delaying us a little bit because we're very stop and start at the moment but that's the nature of building you just got to get on with it good job we love our jobs anyway I'll flip you around you can have a look and I'll show you what we're going to be doing for the day so the lads are getting all of this flattened off, ready for the MOT to go in, which will be tomorrow. We've got our marks for our MOT, our concrete and our insulation. We've managed to get this up to damp level. We've got our corner up to damp level there. And today we are going to be running the rest of this in and getting this in. 
once we've got the water out of the trench and hopefully we'll be able to get it done before the rain gets so bad that it stops us from working. We're also going to be putting up our wall starters on there and up that side of the door as well and we're going to be looking at extending our air bricks through that's quite important because underneath this floor there is air voids and if there's no adequate ventilation then the timber on the inside of that building can become wet and rotten and start to uh, to break down and the floor starts to sink so what we're going to do is we're going to extend these air bricks through the floor and they're going to come out of our actual structure that way we continue the ventilation underneath this floor we'll set up a time lapse and you can watch it. just broken out this air brick and what we found is that there is no air gap in there whatsoever so this floor is looks like it's just sat on uh, solid material so there's bricks in there there's a bit of sand in there but there's certainly no gap so I don't know why there is air bricks in this property so it's looking rather like we don't need to continue these air bricks because it would be pointless um, I can't go back any further than I can get back to where my elbow is but I can't get anything out <sighs> apart from hardcore yeah the, what we should see under there should be um, a floating floor sitting on timber joists but we don't it looks like that this kitchen floor is sat on a slab and that these air bricks have been put in for no apparent reason so we're going to scrap the plan of extending these air bricks because there is no need to and we shall uh, continue as as normal day number seven and we now have a gazebo. We are sick and tired of being constantly rained off. It's rained every day um, on and off so we've been very stop and started and it's taken seven days to actually get the dig done and to get the, uh, the building kind of out of the ground. So we decided that we would finally use the gazebo. So uh, we've got it up and we'll be able to get built up underneath that. Today we've got the slab going in. So we're going to chuck some MLT in here. We're going to whack a plate it all down. We're going to put a sand blind in it. We're going to whack a plate back down. And then we're going to put some uh, damp roof membrane.
Concrete has been cancelled. The driver is stuck in Warsaw. It is now five o'clock. He said he'll come, but it's going to be about six before he gets here. We've got two hours of concreting. I'm not working till eight. So we've rescheduled and we're going to be concreting at seven o'clock in the morning. So you can join us then as we stick the concrete in. See you later. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. We are back in Longbridge. It's seven in the morning. Concrete's going in. So we've got the slab in now. That was uh, nice and hard. <laughs> um, but concrete, you know, is it's always a physically demanding job, but it's very satisfying as well because you get to screed it all later and and it's lovely. Um, Isaac's just putting in the lean mix into our cavity. Um, that lean mix will come up to uh, within 225 mils of our damp coarse layer, which is here. And then we tamp it down, and when we tamp it down, we tamp it facing away from the building, okay? That way, um, any water will run towards the outer leaf that forms. Um, we'll get the rest of the uh, mix in. I'll take you around to show you what we've done with the driveway. So when the concrete truck came, Obviously, there is uh, about 30 tons in the concrete truck. This was for the footings going in. He cracked the driveway. So what we've done is we have breaked out a section of where the crack was and we have just replaced the concrete there. And again, just here where the neighbor's uh, front door is, all this got cracked as well. So what we've done is we put some concrete down and we're gonna put some slabs down for them as well to make them a little step. Uh, that way everything's nice and uh, solid and secure for them. So the slab is in, the brickwork is finished, we are up to damp, which now means that the groundworks on this job are finished. So we're going to be coming in on Tuesday because the uh, materials aren't being delivered till Tuesday. We're coming in on Tuesday and we're going to start building the structure up using these bricks which we have uh, matched to the property, to the existing property as best we can. That's a pretty, pretty close match. But if you have a look, um, there's obviously been some doors and windows that have been taken out of here because there's a bit of a mishmash of different kinds of bricks. Um, one of the options was to take this wall all the way back and just rebuild it using the same brick. But the uh, customer just decided to have the extension um, butted up against there. One of the other things is that uh, because these are Sunday joints, I mean, these joints are huge, what we're not going to do is we're not going to tooth our new structure into this one. So by toothing, we would take this brick, this brick, this brick, this brick, this brick, all the way up and down, out, and then our new bricks, if we were toothing in, our new bricks would slide into there. But because these joints are really big, it would make my brickwork look very messy, which I am not keen on. So uh, after discussions with the customer and the architect, it's decided that we are going to put a wall starter on here, and we're just gonna butt our bricks up to here with, um, with a joint. Anyway, we'll see you on Tuesday where we get the structure built up and that will be working day number eight on this project. Mm -hmm. 